Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new Utopia e-bike. This here is the Carbon 1S. Now previously we reviewed the original Carbon 1. This one here is essentially the S model, which features a 350 watt motor, as well as a seven gear Shimano gearbox. Now this allows you to go ahead and get more speed, of course, as well as better range overall, and definitely gives you a more realistic or natural feel of an e-bike. Now the previous Carbon 1 that we reviewed had a belt driven or essentially a carbon fiber belt driven e-bike which is probably very unique than nonetheless but it did have some limitations now together we see exactly what this cool bike is about and I have to say it's probably one of the most futuristic e-bikes I've ever seen so in this episode here we'll be unboxing it as well as trying out and seeing exactly what it's all about so if you guys want your own check out the link down below in the description and without further ado let's go ahead and get started guys so check it out so this here's your packaging this here's your box overall pretty lightweight for an e-bike box and does explain what it is here on the front so let's go ahead and open it up next and see what we're working with all right so this here's everything that we got we have one this awesome looking frame which is essentially already pre-built so we're going to mount on our front wheel install our battery put in our seat and everything is just pretty much plug and play as a lot of these actually have the wires that are just connecting directly to the unit so let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves an e-bike All right, so we're outside here on this beautiful day and overall building this thing was surprisingly very easy. Majority of it was already built and just kind of go ahead and putting it together to make it one whole piece. Now we did opt in for a few accessories. So we do have this extra fender flare that kind of gives it a little bit more an aerodynamic feel as well as the bottle rack here to go ahead and carry your bottle. And I mean, yeah, it definitely looks really cool. It has a very nice sporty feel and very futuristic vibe. Now, I do have the original Carbon 1 that we previously reviewed right over here. And looking at both bikes, I have to say they look quite identical. Now, the main difference between the two is actually, obviously, the gear mechanism. So over here, we have this single carbon fiber belt driven e-bike with the attachment to the motor in the back. However, over here, you can see we have the seven gear Shimano gearbox. Now, obviously, this makes it a little bit more complicated, but it does give you different variations of gear speed, which also gives us this portion right over here to go ahead and switch between the different gears. Now, aside that, both of the bikes look very identical. You do have the lovely looking touchscreen button over here. All right, so right now it does showcase that uh, we're in the zero speed. Simply switching up, you can go ahead between the different modes. So you have your one, your two, three, and then you have your turbo mode by simply holding it up. Now this particular e-bike does have voice control. So if I simply hold this button over here, headlight on. Light on. It'll go ahead and engage it just like that. Now this is the same exact features that we've seen on the previous e-bike that makes it very unique. Light off. Light off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and showcase the app just a quick little bit here. So one thing to note is you do have riding stats will kind of showcase uh, what people do and different places that you might have gone. So this here showcases all the different things that I've done in the history, how many miles I've ridden, stuff like that. Now, if I go into this friend setting here or community setting, I can actually see what other people are doing as well. So like this person drove 7.21 miles uh, and kind of just gives you a little bit of detail and you include photos and different things like that. So that's kind of neat. Over here, we actually have control of our actual bike. So this is neat. So one, um, I just connect to it via Bluetooth, just like this. All right, so now that we've connected it, I can make it beep. So this is a great way to go ahead and indicate where my bike is located. Um, I have headlight control, so I can turn off the light. Turn it back on. I can also go ahead and turn on the power and turn off the power. I have volume control, so I can essentially do different variations of volume in terms of what I want for the bike. Uh, I have vibration settings. So this is more for feedback in terms of haptic feedback. I have your different sounds. So I can technically uh, control like the power sounds. I can pick which one I want. So these are different power on sounds. So that's kind of neat too. Uh, I have alarm mode. 
All right, so the alarm mode is on. So if I happen to turn off my bike, just like that, and I now have somebody pretend like they moved it like this. <laughs> I can go ahead and disable that. So that's pretty cool. I can go ahead and turn it back on by simply hitting on. There we go. That's cool. Uh, so I do have advanced mode, so I can uh, turn on the lights, auto lights, showcase the Fahrenheit degrees, top speed indicator, um, different things like that. So you have game mode, uh, all these different things that you can technically enable or de-able. So if I click on game mode, and if I hit this, Game mode, you'll have Snake. <laughs> so that is so cool that you can actually play Snake on it. And then you control it using the dial over here. So pretty cool stuff. So that's neat that they do have that control over there. Uh, you have your fingerprint, so you can go ahead and enable the fingerprint technology. This will go ahead and register only to you. Uh, you can update it, you can diagnose it, you could uh, create a geofence around it. So this will go essentially make sure that this bike doesn't go out of this area. So that's kind of cool too. And then the next thing is actually your personal settings. You can see all the different honors that you get, uh, awards and just kind of pretty cool. It kind of motivates you to go ahead and continue riding, which I have to say is absolutely cool. Under notifications, so if the bike is moved, it'll kind of indicate it on your phone and give you notifications and stuff like that. So that is actually pretty cool and also kind of scary because I did get a notification in the middle of the night that my bike was moved even though it wasn't. So the next thing I show here is the GPS. So I can actually put GPS coordinates in here. I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna hit go. So this is telling me to turn right. Uh, as we progress, so, uh, I can also see the different settings in here in terms of like how much I'm burning, the weather, stuff like that. So with that said, let's go ahead and hop on this thing next and try it out. So starting off, I'm in speed one. So this here is going to be a less the gentle push. Uh, now the nice thing about this, it does have a Bluetooth speaker, meaning you could technically play your own music and kind of ride along. Now. We do have a menu control, which allows us to go ahead and see the weather. So it does showcase that it might rain in just a little bit. So that's quite interesting to see. Uh, and besides that, we can go ahead and see how many calories we're burning uh, and different things like that. So it definitely is a very cool aspect. Now, besides that, it does showcase how much power you're using as well as what exact speed you're going at. So let's go ahead and kick it up a notch and go into speed number two. Now I love the fact that they have different audio sounds and you can always customize them based on your own personal preference. And yeah, so this is speed three. So now it is kind of tugging me along, which is great, but again, a very gradual increase in speed. Now, if I go into turbo mode, this is designed to go ahead and give us a little bit of a push. Uh, so it's as if we're literally gliding along and it just kind of carries it about. So it's actually very smooth and probably one of the smoothest e-bikes I've ever seen. It's just something really cool than nonetheless. So let's just go ahead and go for a few rounds and see what this thing's all about. Well, there you guys have it. Overall, a really easy bike to use. Now, if you're looking for something that's both futuristic as well as a great commuter to go ahead and get a nice stroll around, this is definitely recommended. I really love all the bells and whistles with this and probably have to say one of the most sophisticated e-bikes I've ever seen. Now, the seven gear Shimano gearbox actually does up it up a lot compared to the original Carbon One, just because it does give you more control over speed. And I have to say, hands down, probably one of my favorite e-bikes. Now, with that said, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care now. Bye-bye.